someone new. My surroundings have changed. I had traveled the nebula in an eye blink. What? Albereth? Am I alive? It wasn't possible, but I'd done it. Did... did I die? Did I loop? But this is Elbereth, isn't it? It saved me? I mean, the statues did go to Elbereth. The gods saved me. It sent me home. I'd better take a moment to get my bearings, though. I'm dizzy. Setbayaki or Fa? Cat kiss. But wait, did we leave Six over there alone then? How could he possibly get back on his own? I've still got the scimitar. Did I say the gate word wrong? No, it's definitely the scimitar. But is there going to be a, a ship? Here. N. I hope that worked. Set Boyaki Rafa. Cat kiss. Yeni Huake. Will I be able to talk to a Roy? Will she be able to help me? Or someone? <laughs> mistress! There you are! My ethical core has been most concerned, Mistress. Did the god tell you where it sent me? God, Mistress. I have not been in touch with any gods. I was informed of your location by the Elbereth Gate, Mistress. The, so the gate told you where to find me? Indeed, Mistress. Its core observed your arrival, of course. It recognized you and wished to return you to, well, the gate believes that you belong to me, Mistress. It was informing me that my property had been located. You're telling me the gate can think? It has a core, mistress. As do you, and I. I have not dissuaded the gate from its hypothesis, mistress. It seems a useful gate of affairs, state of affairs, a happy misunderstanding. I am most glad you are intact, mistress. I was not looking forward to explaining the loss to Professor Mayari. Time to depart, mistress. Uh, we still have more to do here. While we're here, we might as well see a Roy. I'm not too keen on going to Toffee when I still have the crown in my possession. But Roy's yard is this way. Wow, talking to the vault god? That... So these crystals that they have inside them, they... Do you believe the workers are well treated, mistress? Some will be. Not all. I'm still trying to comprehend what we just... So, they were digging up the old gods? But that one actually could speak. It had a... A kind of mind. The gate can think now? All of these... These objects... But what made them? I 
I heard a sound like someone dropping a bag of rice or falling out of bed. <laughs> Aaliyah, I thought it was you. The bit of crystal you gave me. I can see why you gave it to me. Where did you find it? It was dug up from a crashed mo ship on a moon near here. So it's old. That explains a few things. You see the crystal? It has a certain kind of charge to it. It's running out, but not gone yet. Let me guess. It makes things around it float. There's less gravity in the crystal than there should be. It's like picking up a block of ice. Is it of any use? I don't see why not. I'll take care of this now. If you find any more, you know where I am. But here we go. Door the telescope. Look at this thing. I found it way out on a moon covered in ancient panels. That's beautiful. Some kind of telescope? Set up to collect something. Probably packed with information. If only you could read it. The Cyoxian, Janiki Renba, was collecting them. Perhaps he figured he could read them. But it's not very likely. The position of the scopes might tell you something. The scope itself won't. But still, it's a beautiful piece. Hmm. Can you help me trace what's made? I have no idea where it was made. The ancients were recording something. Something is happening out there. A darkness is coming. It won't do any good. We can barely handle what's happening here, Aaliyah. I found a site that's too far from the river's re to reach, further than anywhere I've been. Off the rivers? There's a whole vast space between the rivers. And it's not as empty as it should be. But without the rivers, there's no air to breathe and the nightingale can only hold so much. Sounds like you need a river then. Even if you could get me some of those gravity crystals, that might get you there faster, but... There and back? Before you suffocate? Probably not. I thought you could make me some air tanks. I could fit them into the ship. How many? How much air? Enough for a day? Um, two days? How are you going to cross empty space anyway? Rivers don't come and go because you ask them to. But maybe they do. We're not sailing for some rock. It's a place. So maybe there's a river, once, but now it's gone. Well, even if that was true. You can't just whistle for it to come back. What even is a river? You've sailed more than me. Where do they come from? Where do they start? Do you know? Hmm. Some moons have up rivers. The rivers just come out of them. How does that work? Oh, they have wellsprings. The water is drawn off into space. Hmm. The, wa 
water from Ajax comes in from Elbereth. It washes back out into space. There's no wellspring there at all, then. Well, then, you just need to make a wellspring. Maybe the water goddess will help you out. We worship the water goddess on Mercy. I was joking, L. Why the rivers in dirt? What's wrong with you? You can't make a river any more than you can flip Elbereth onto its back. And even if you could, you couldn't tell it which way to flow. Hmm. But what if there was a river before? A new river might follow the same course? It might, if it starts from the same place. But rivers don't just vanish, and they don't just appear. I'm sorry about your distant star, El, but maybe, just maybe, you're stuck down here with the rest of us for once. How are things here? I'm not getting any better. See you when I see you, Aaliyah. That's that. So we need to start a wellspring? But from where? Yeah, if we can find a way to get the water to flow. Oh, or six. So the gate called us his property. So that pretty much affirms that when the gate was created, that robots were in their prime. They were part of the Steel Empire. Are you ready to go now, mistress? Do it. Let's leave the moon. So I can collect my thoughts on the ship. Be ready, mistress. And so we left the surface of Elbre. We probably can't go back to the god. So he is the buried god. Perhaps the seventh one. The one that was lost. Are you going to speak with him about the one that you found? Mistress. What happened to the people here? We never really got to see the rest of this. The palace. And there's nothing for water. Not the Emperor's. Not the... Yeah. No, it has to be the palace. But we don't know any of the other words. Aren't you here? You, yeah, it just said I am the vault. Leave the scimitar to the cat kiss gate. Oh, we always have to give away our stuff there. Nah. I suppose what we'll have to do is figure out what our next site is. We do have the Age of Sail site. The unknown ancient site, the Heaven's Vault. That's... That's what's in the deep space. The Heaven's Vault. An eclectic series of ancient artifacts are pointing to an Age of Sail location. Something from the same age as that buried ship that Sia says Remba found. A lost city, perhaps? I'll have to explore this region for more evidence to pin down the site's exact position. 
or I could explore other avenues. So I think that's where we'll probably be able to go next, unless we want to talk with Amadu and tell him about the servos, or finally go back and talk with Mayari on Iox, but I don't want to give up that crown. I think that crown is going to be integral in accessing the vault. Yeah, this is just so intriguing. We. We've discovered that the gates have a kind of artificial intelligence, that that statue had an artificial intelligent intelligence, that Six was in fact a living being, like we had ascertained with Kaya and a couple of the other robots, that perhaps they were, yeah, people. Their minds were separated from their bodies and put into these robotic forms. Ah, and at one point, everything was reversed. Humans were servants to the robots, but if the robots were originally people, then were they a specific type of people that came before? And if is there something older even than the robots that created the sculptures of the gods and the original AIs? Ah, it's all so fascinating. And I'm so glad that even with her stamina meter running out, that it didn't end there, because that would have been bad. I'm glad that the, the god was able to to teleport her, essentially, to the gate. And then the gate communicated with Six and is like, yep, your property is here. Come pick her up. Six must be very pleased with himself. I suppose all we have to do now is determine where we're going to go next. Because we're outside of Elbereth. There's a couple of different sites. We've been to the Withering Palace, the Serpent's Eye, Amber Seeker Garden, the Steel Empire Mine. This was where we encountered that buried god. And it somehow had the power to teleport Aaliyah away, all the way to the gate on Elbreth. What kind of system do they have in place for these these machines by the looks of it? There are branches that seem to go this way to the Age of Sail site, which is bordered in a dotted line, which means we can probably find our way there. The unknown ancient site we have less of an inkling of. And the Heaven's Vault, yes, now they've actually labeled it the Heaven's Vault, is there. We could go back to Renaki, or Renaka as they pronounce it, and offer to give Amadu the Withering Palace servos that are buried underneath the earth. But Six seemed to imply that that would be certain death for Amadu. There are paths that lead to this empty space, and I wonder what lies there. I'm going to either do Renaka or the Age of Sail site, but I'll probably do the Age of Sail site first. Let's start sailing. I will ready the ropes, mistress. Okay. Yeah, it's pointing us towards... It, it likes to highlight the things in orange in particular. Mercy, Iox, or the Age of Sail site. I think I'm going to go here first. Ooh. So we're going to be heading this way and out ah, into these paths. So there might be even more down here, but we won't know for sure. Well, let's sail around. I love sailing. I, it can be a little uneventful. But I like the dialogue that they have, and I also like coming across the floating cities, or what used to be uh, floating sanctuaries of some sort, whether they were pieces of other larger islands. Oh. Ignore the next branch, mistress. I could pass the controls to six. Would it lead us to the edge of space? 
Oh, we've we've taken these paths before. So I could actually pass it off to Six. Unless interesting conversation crops up. If he just starts to bark orders, then I know that we've expended much of the conversation. I would like us to talk about what his theories are regarding the buried god that we found. Or have we not really discussed at length with Six what we discussed with the buried god? It's peculiar that there is no dialogue taking place. Usually they'd be quite chatty. Then again, Aaliyah almost did suffocate down in a mine. It's not giving us the option to hand the controls over to Six. Yeah. At this point, he's just barking orders. Let's pass it to Six. Take the tiller for me. The tiller. I wonder if that's the steering wheel, perhaps? Ooh, now here we go to new uncharted territories. The way from here is through unknown waters, mistress. Let's take a good look at this. Oh no, we haven't even gotten there yet. More ice, especially. People are probably going to wonder, why have you refused to give the crown all this time? At the same time, if it is a device, something that unlocks a machine of great importance, it very well could be the key to the Heaven's Vault, the Crown of Iox. And for some reason, Renba couldn't trust Miari, so... I'll have to know what his reasonings were. Unless Iox wants to bring about the end of... The Ioxians were not fond of sailing. Oh. Bless the goddess! All these twisting rapids. Woo! I love the colors here. The magentas and the purples, the oranges and the blues. With some green in the distance. It's like a rainbow. Woo! Thank goodness the nightingale has lasted all these centuries vicinity of the Age of Sail site. Ah, so we have a bunch of meandering paths, some ruins, and then ultimately when things branch off into a much larger end with a terminus, you know that that's the sail site. Now, if I want to go here, I just go that way. But I think what I want to do is I want to turn left and there's a lot of loop-de-loops, but I could just take it down this way and pass this ruin. That would be good. I believe the Age of Sail site should be somewhere nearby. Okay, so I'm on this path. This might loop me out of the zone. So I'm thinking I should take a right. Which way now? Turn right here to continue searching. Yeah, just a little bit laggy there. Ooh, I'm gonna wanna take a right. Then we'll find a ruin. Ooh, yep, there's a little ruin dot. Let's see what we find here. A ruin! I would guess it dates from the Age of Sail, Mistress. This should only take a few moments, Mistress. I recovered a beautifully crafted sextant. I wonder how long it's been there. The casing has been decorated with glyphs. Ooh. 
There's a few words in this one. Yeah, these ones tend to indicate traveling, time. Okay. We have so move. The winds move into. I can add my translation for move to my dictionary now. Okay, so we have can and when. But this was when? Maybe that's too short. Or it could be ancient. Ancient winds move into day and light. The day and light. So would it be a line? Would it be a blessing? Okay, so... Maybe ancient. Ancient winds move into line. I could still change my mind, but... Ancient winds move into line? A device for watching the winds and flows of the rivers. Invaluable. Especially if you didn't have a robot. I think this comes from the place we're after. Oh, oh, oh wait, no. We missed a turn. Oh, we're just going in a big circle. We'll be able to get back this way and loop around and down and find this site. Oh, I can reset it. Okay, so if we go there, then we'll be on our way. Wait, if I go down this way, I'll have to take the left loop? Yes, that'll be the only way to take it around that way. Ah... <sighs> It feels good to be back on a real river again. Vicinity of the Age of Sail site. Back within the search zone. Yeah, we don't want to turn right or it'll just be loop again. Wait, no, we have to go right, but then we'll have to go left. Yeah, do not turn right. So he's forewarning us now. Here we go. Into the slow wake. And from here, we have to go left, but then we'll take a right. Yeah, I do wonder if these rivers slow enough, if they really do just whittle out and die, which results in the darkness, at which point people would never be able to travel again. Okay, we're going to want to take a left and then a right. Even though those rocks look rather imposing. turned right here to continue searching. Oop, just barely made that one. If you go too far up the incline, then it keeps you on that path. Approach the ruin. The structure is barely intact, mistress. There is nothing here to find. What? No. Wait. There are multiple? Age of Sail sites, it extended everything. But I don't see a path that branches down here. It's almost as though it divided things into two. 
Well, either way, we can continue straight and then a left and then a right to reach that. Eh. Onward. Wang told me of something in the Chronicles of Mazwai. It was an old poem about sailing the fiery path. Oh, is she wondering if this is the fiery path? I wonder if this is what it meant, this spray in the water. And... Right again. It is certainly not fiery, mistress. It would seem we have not been down either of these paths before, mistress. Ooh, this looks promising. Another rock. What will this be? There's something up ahead. I will activate the hopper now, mistress. <laughs> 